Hello and welcome to this DIY engineers video. In this video I'll show you how to look at a resistor and its band colors to determine the value of the resistor. So let's start with this one. So now here we can see our four band resistor. Bands one and two on the left will provide the first and second significant digit. The third band will provide the multiplier and then our fourth band on the right end of the resistor will provide our tolerance. So basically how accurate is the resistance that we're calculating. So that can be plus or minus 1%, plus or minus 2%, etc. You see the colors and the, the ranges on the right end box. Now let's look at our example. The first band is brown, next is black, next is orange, and the final one is gold. So we can go ahead, look at our chart and see that the first number should be a one because the first band is brown. And then the second significant digit, it's zero because it's the black band. Next, we need to define our multiplier. So it's orange. So that will be times one kilo ohm. So we have the one and the zero, so 10 times one kilo ohm, that gives us 10 kilo ohms. And then our tolerance is plus or minus 5% from the gold. So we know that the average resistance value will be 10 kilo ohms and that this will be between 9.5 and 10.5 kilo ohms for the actual resistor we're, we have in our example. So here's our resistor and let's go ahead and use this multimeter to confirm the resistance value. So you can see I clipped it with alligator clips. I put it in a resistor setting and we get 9.75, which is within the range that we calculated of 9.5 to 10.5. So this is good. Now let's look at our first example of a five band color resistor. We can see we have brown, black, black, it's a little bit confusing, but that fourth one is actually red. And then we have brown. Now, what if we have a five band resistor? Well, bands one, two, and three will be our first, second, and third significant digit. The fourth band will be the multiplier. And the fifth band will be our tolerance. Now, let's look at our first example with five bands. We have brown, black, black, red, brown. So we know the first one's a one because it's brown. Then we have zero and zero. And then we get our multiplier from the red. The red is 100 ohms. So 100 times 100 ohms is 10 kilo ohms. And our tolerance is 1%. So our resistance value will be 9.9 .9 kilo ohms to 10.1 kilo ohms. Now, if you recall from the previous example, that one was also in 10 kilo ohm resistor. So the difference between this one and that one is this one is plus or minus 1% within the 10 kilo ohms, while the other one was plus or minus 5%. So this one will range between 9.9 .9 and 10.1 and should be closer to the 10 kilo ohms. So let's go ahead and check that out. So here we have the resistor between the two alligator clips on our multimeter. I'll set it to check the resistance value. And we get 9.95 kilo ohms. So much closer to 10 than the previous one. All right, so here's our next example. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so let's take a look at this one. We have yellow, purple, black, brown, and brown. So we have a four for the first significant digit. And we have a seven and then a zero. And we have to get our multiplier, which will be 10 ohms. So four, seven, zero times 10 ohms gives us 4.7 kilo ohms. And then we have to get a multiplier. It will be 1%. So our resistance is 4.7 kilo ohms and can range from 4.65 to 4.75. Now the actual resistance will be one value. The range is just what it could be per the spec of the resistor based on the tolerance they're specifying as 1%. So let's go ahead and check the resistance. We have our multimeter connected, put in resistance mode, and we can see that we get 4.71 kilo ohms, which is almost spot on. 
All right, so now let's go ahead and let's take a look at another example. As you can see, we got green, blue, black, black, and brown. So let's go ahead. So let's take a look at this one. We have green, blue, black, black, brown. So we know the first one will be a five for the first significant digit. Second will be a six. Third one is a zero. Our multiplier will be one ohm. So we have 560 ohms. And our tolerance will be plus or minus 1%. So our resistor will be 560, but it could actually range between 554 and 556. Now, let's go ahead and check this one. Got the resistor with the alligator clips on my multimeter. You can see it's the green, blue, black, black, brown. We set it up to resistance mode and we can see that we have 558 ohms or 559 ohms on this one. So pretty accurate. Now, if you want to do this easily, I like DigiKeys calculator where you can pick if you have a four, five or six band resistor. The six one actually allows you to put PPM. Uh, but if you pick, let's say a five one, you could do black, brown, brown. It wouldn't make sense to start with black since that will be a zero as the first significant digit. But okay, let's pick this and a multiplier of brown with a tolerance of red. And then you would get your one kilo ohm, 2%. And if I change this to a yellow and then I went ahead and make this red and then the, this one red and this one orange, you would get 422 kilo ohms. So give it a try. That's in DigiKey's website. You can just Google DigiKey resistor calculator. Now you may have noticed that DigiKey's resistor calculator has a six band option. So similar to the five band, the first three bands define the significant digits to calculate the resistance value. We also have a multiplier and we have a tolerance. So nothing has changed so far, except that we also add a PPM option. So what is this? So our resistors can change in resistance value as their temperature increase. So this PPM basically defines the temperature coefficient that defines or explains or lets you know how much your actual resistance will change with changes in temperature. So if we have a 50 PPM coefficient. What this means is that for a one mega ohm resistor, you will not see more than 50 ohms of resistance change when the temperature changes by one Celsius. So since this is parts per million, one mega ohm is one million ohms, and that's why you wouldn't see more than 50 ohms in resistance change. So you just wanted to explain that since we do have this option here, although I didn't have any resistors with six bands on hand. So this concludes this DIY engineers video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.